Hello, today I show you how I prepare my breeding box for Dynasties Hercules Hercules for the Hercules Beetle. Um, first of all, I take a, a pretty big box uh, as a breeding container. It said that a pair needs some space to walk around uh, that they are not too close uh, to each other uh, while the female is diving into the substrate and the male is searching for her probably. So I have uh, this container, it's 40 centimeters high, around 60 wide and it has um, a volume of around 65 uh, liters and then of course you have, you need uh, the right material. This is for the ground, it's very um, fine black soil old flake soil um, and you see the consistency is that if you press it there's no water coming out but it's it's it sticks together and forms a little uh, balls so that the female can lay the eggs into this very fine finely ground substrate on the bottom of the container so I need a lot of this stuff just to fill in And of course, if you have this as the bottom ground, you need to press it down so that the female realizes that here is a ground reached. And then I put some logs into that. A big container too. I have um, prepared some that are really white rotten and, and a little bit soft if you open it they fall apart and that's a good way to just signalize the female that this is a good ground for laying her eggs because there's a lot of food for the larvae too in this container. I even have some more of this, probably I take one of this here and this is another one, a little bit a harder one like this. So, well, like this. And then there is a second layer of substrate. I have it in here. It's a mixture of flake soil and finely ground white rotten wood. Also, it's uh, meant for the female to lay her eggs into this substrate too. It's not as wet as the black soil on the bottom, but it's also pretty uh, humid. Uh, this is the second layer. pieces of wood are covered with it so you don't have to compress it very hard like this now we have around 25 centimeters and the rest of the box we can put in some of this flake soil with leaves rotten leaves in it too that is the last part of the process So, and we fill it up till the top of the box. Now I know it's getting pretty, pretty heavy, but that's a good soil for a female to lay her eggs. Also, you can put some bark in here or pieces of bark on top too. So when and that all is turning over. It can. It has something to grip on and to come back to their own six legs. So that's about the surface of it. Well, and now 
what about the animals, the insects themselves? I have uh, prepared some here for you. Here is a female of Dynastis Hercules eating in this melon. This is a typical one, it's not a very big one, but it's okay for a female. How long is it? Let's have a look. That female is around six, a little bit more than six centimeters. You can just put her on here and we will have a look at the male. It's, it's back here. Well, that's What's that? That's a man. Huh? Okay. Now this also is a very nice male of the Hercules beetle. I just, I think I, I put this man onto this piece of melon, watermelon. Of course it does so well. Okay, so. And of course there are some, are some more females here, but for these. Uh, other females, one I have here, I need some other containers. I only put one female into one box and let's have a look where she is. Must be down here somewhere. Oh, here, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> well, also this is, it's about the same size as the other one. Also around six centimeters, and there's a third one down here somewhere. She already dig down to the substrate. Yeah, uh, we have to look where she is. Here. <laughs> okay. Look, this third one over here. Well, we have a nice male with three females and let's say like this, I put all the three females into one single box and I change the male from one box to the other and we have a look what happens. Should be around two to three months that they leave and in that time I hope they lay a lot of eggs and I hope that I can show you how much they laid into this uh, substrate box in the next uh, few videos. Thanks for watching. And of course I forgot to show you that there is a, um, a cover for this box too. And it should be also not too small. It should of course have some holes uh, to, to pre, uh, the, so that there is an air exchange in here. And if we do that right, there is enough air exchange for these beetles here. And they feel safe if there is not too much movement of air inside of the cage, so that is nice for them as a breeding container. And as you probably have seen in other videos already, I mostly I close it with this kind of plastic strips. So because these animals are very strong, so. If, if you just make it, uh, try to fix it with a tape or so, that's not a problem for a, a big beetle like this Hercules beetle. Yeah, I remember the name Hercules, so that's a real strong one. So you can open every box if the lid is not uh, fixed very uh, seriously, so like this. And it has a, a lot of space here. That's a nice cage for breeding for Dynasties Hercules. Bye.